Welcome to another True Wireless Earbud Review. Today I'm reviewing the Soundpeats H1. Soundpeats is offering the H1 through a Kickstarter campaign for $75 for the H1 and $85 for the H1 Premium. The H1 Premium appear to have some added features like the Soundpeats Voice Wake Up Assistant, which is a truly hands-free wireless assistant that you don't even need to touch the earbuds to activate the Soundpeats Assistant. Now I'm reviewing the regular H1 and I have not tried the voice assistant, but the regular H1 does have both Apple and Android assistant support via the touch controls. So I'm gonna go over an unboxing. I'm gonna go over their feature set, latency, max volume, the sound quality, and where these rank in my mic series playlist. So whether you're new to my channel or a regular, thanks for watching. So the H1 case is a really nice looking two-tone case. It's about the same size as the Soundpeats True Engine 3 SE case. And it would fit in my jean pockets in a pinch, but I don't think it would look great. It's a little bit too big for that small pocket, but it would fit great in a gym bag or a pocketbook. Now the magnets work really well to keep the lid closed and to keep the buds in place. Plus the buds are really, really easy to get in and out of this case too. So that is a big thumbs up to Soundpeats in my mind. Now, the buds charge via USB cable, or I guess the case charges via USB-C cable, and they also charge wirelessly. These will last up to 10 hours on a charge, plus 40 hours in totality using the case to charge the buds three extra times. The H1 have an IPX rating of 5, which means they're rain, and sweat resistant. The H1 design also blocks a lot of ambient noise naturally, and with the included Compli foam tips, they block out a lot of sound. These are your go-to ear tips for when you want to block noise passively. Now for working out, what I would do is just choose a different and likely a you know an undersized pair of ear tips for your ears to just make working out or running the best. But these are shaped a lot like the last True Engine 3 SE and the True Engine SE, and somehow these work really well for running for me. I, I don't really understand it, but it's got to have something to do with the way that the tips fit in my ear. I would just say that these ear t these earbuds can be inserted very deeply into your ear canals. So for those of you who like that feeling, you're going to really like these because you can put these in really far you can get a tremendous amount of passive noise isolation. I don't tend to stick them in that far, but somehow they just work. The way they rest on the concha of your ear, they just stay pretty secure, even if you don't jam them all the way into your ears. And that's probably why they work well for me when I'm working out or running. Now, these earbuds do support AppDex. They support also AAC for high definition audio. And in watching Netflix, Disney, and my own YouTube videos, plus some of just my own videos, these don't lag while watching movies. And I'm not even talking about turning on the gaming mode. So let's check out that latency with AppDex on, AppDex on, and that gaming mode on and off and see what that does to the latency measurements. So the latency measurements for these earbuds came in at 300 milliseconds with AppDex on or off. That is actually really good. And with gamer mode on, I measured them at about 175 milliseconds, which is the fastest set of earbuds I've measured. And I know that, you know, I was just trying to stay consistent with my, uh, with my latency measurements. I'm not, you know, I'm not claiming that that's actually how latent they are because Soundpeats is claiming 40 milliseconds of latency. So there's, there could definitely be some inherent latency just in the way that I do the testing, 
that's adding some latency to the test. And in general, what I would say is that when I actually did some gaming with these, playing Call of Duty Mobile or Shooting Gallery, with gaming mode on, these are the best gaming earbuds that I have tried, period. I think that you would really enjoy playing games with these unless you're a very serious gamer like Call of Duty Mobile. Like actually the gunshots are really close to when you actually pull the trigger. So it's, in my mind, it's the best gaming bud I've tried to date. Now, the touch controls control everything including volume, including turning the gamer mode on and off, and accessing your preferred assistant, whether it's Android or Apple. I'm not talking about the SoundPeats app. I do not have the premium version of these. Now, the Bluetooth range is also huge on these at 84 feet, and these buds sport the latest Qualcomm's QCC3040 chipset, which features true wireless mirroring technology, which just basically means you should get a really strong, skip-free experience using these earbuds. Now, I haven't been using them that long, but so far, these have been just excellent, connected to my Pixel 4 XL. Both of these earbuds will work in mono mode, but they are not multi-point. One really nice thing that I'm going to point out to you volume junkies is that these earbuds are way louder than I would listen to music. I measured them at 105 decibels using my super old school analog sound meter, and that's really loud as far as wireless earbuds go. So let's get to the most important thing of any true wireless earbuds. As one of my Facebook fans pointed out, who cares? Who gives a beep <laughs> what the features are if they don't sound good? <laughs> now you can check out my playlist for testing sound quality on Spotify. Links are in the video description and of course on my website when I get this review up on my website. Today I added to my playlist Down by Marianne Hill. And damn, check out the bass drop at 57 seconds when the H1, this is just a controlled explosion that sounds so good. And the vocals on these are silky smooth when listening to, let's say, my favorite Cardi B WAP. Everything from her breath to the vocals in the soundstage is just sweet. Now, how do they do it? Well, Soundpeeds through... 8.6 millimeter dynamic drivers in and a second Knowles balanced armature driver in these. That second driver is really geared towards the Knowles balanced armature driver. That's really geared towards the mids and the highs to just give you a ton of detail and those crystal clear and bright uh, treble frequencies. And that 8.6 millimeter driver, that's actually a really big driver for a deep in ear earbud and that's pumping out a lot of bass. Now, one of the things that I want to say in like trying to describe the sound quality is that when I read the Kickstarter hype from Soundpeats, I think they actually described the sound of these really well. They said these are a good sounding earbud with no distortion in the treble, no rattles in the bass, rendering music in a harmonious fashion that satisfies the soul. <laughs> right, right. Well, okay, that's the marketing hype, but they also describe a part that I think really matters a, a lot, which is that it reproduces clear and precise treble that doesn't extend excessively and penetrate your ears. Look, I'm really impressed that Soundpeats created a dual driver bud with this level of bass and sub bass, along with all the detail that they put in the mids and trebles in here without over boosting any of it. And I think it would have been really, really easy to do with that dual driver being you know able to boost the treble up too much and I you know if you've watched a bunch of my reviews you know when treble gets too bright I really bang on the on the earbuds because I don't like it I think it sounds terrible at some point when the treble is so bright that it starts to hurt your ears especially as you turn up the volume these do not do this these stay silky smooth they give you a tremendous amount of detail at any volume, even low volumes. These sound great. So that brings me to my recommendations. These are the best sounding earbud that I've heard under a hundred bucks. Like they just sound great. Soundbeats did a great job. They have great features as well and they work well for movies and I love the gaming mode as I've gotten back into gaming a little bit because of this channel. This is my favorite gaming earbud to date. Plus, these have a, they don't have ANC, but they do have flexibility around the number of ear tips that they've provided that's going to give you a range of working 
with earbuds that give you a tremendous amount of isolation in those comfy foam tips, or you can back off and go with a slightly undersized silicone ear tip and get these buds great for working out or running. So choose your tips wisely when using these. And remember, if you do go undersized on the ear tips, that is going to decrease the base, but don't be fooled. You put in the right size ear tips, these things are going to bring the noise when it comes to bass. It is gorgeous and it is controlled and it is not going to sound to you like over boosted and just soft and, you know, bass everywhere. It's tight. It's tight. It's tight and powerful. Now, who shouldn't buy these? Look, I think anybody who might get annoyed by the fact that the cover on the case might be a little bit flimsy, it might close just a little bit too easily, or anyone addicted to Amazon two-day shipping because the Kickstarter set page says that these are not going to ship until December 2020, which is just in time for a fantastic gift for that someone special in your life. Likely yourself, but hey, you're worth it, right? <laughs> Last thing I want to talk about is that Soundpeats put CVC-8 noise canceling mics in these buds, total of four, two on each bud. So let's listen to the phone call samples and decide where these rank on my mic series playlist. This is a microphone test of the Soundpeats H1, two wireless earbuds over a phone call to my Google voicemail. Soundpeats put four CVC-8 noise canceling mics into the H1. So let's see how well they pick up my voice over some background traffic. Based on what I've heard so far, the mic seems to work pretty well, picking up my voice over the background track, even if blocking out the wind so far. Several cars have gone by in the background, and based on this phone call and others that have taken in the background, here's where I think the H1 rank in my mic series play. Let me know if you think I rank the H1 microphone quality correctly, or how I should adjust them in the video comments. And thanks for watching my review of the Soundpeats H1. Stay safe, everyone. So Zen out.